Now, when Kenyan police seized a truck packed with over 200 elephant tusks at Mombasa port last year, the bus led to the rare arrest of suspected ivory kingpin Faisal Mohammed Ali. Conservationists hope Ali's trial will shed light on the shadowy supply chain that funnels ivory from Africa to Asia markets. Here's more on the story. In Kenya's coastal city of Mombasa, the trial for one of the country's most wanted criminals has begun. Faisal Muhammad Ali is on Interpol's shortlist for crimes against the environment. In this case, ivory trafficking. Arrested in Tanzania last month, he was extradited to Kenya and charged with illegally dealing in wildlife trophies. Catching an alleged ivory kingpin is rare. And activists hope that Ali's trial will shine a light on the shadowy supply chain that funnels ivory from Africa to Asian markets. Uh, it's not just for the small fish. It's also for the big ones that are involved and it doesn't matter what level they are or how much money they have or how well connected they are across uh, the, the boundaries that uh, the law provides for them to be caught up with. But while large seizures happen regularly, arrests and convictions rarely follow here. A recent five-year study of wildlife cases before Kenyan courts found that only 7% of those convicted of offenses against elephants and rhinos actually went to jail. The modern ivory trade is dominated by a small number of mafia-like organizations capable of paying off a wide network, from the poachers themselves to park rangers, shipping agents, politicians, and judges. These syndicates are pushing Africa's elephants towards extinction. A joint UN Environment Program and Interpol study last year said that up to 25,000 African elephants are killed each year to feed an illegal trade worth up to $188 billion. It, it sounds crazy, but this is actually a war. Um, it is organized crime um, on an international level, and it is, it's completely out of control. From the nature reserves of East and Central Africa, ivory is smuggled to the Indian Ocean ports of Kenya and Tanzania, from where shipping containers are exported to Asia. Ivory is worth more than $2,000 per kilo at market. And with arrests rare, convictions infrequent, and penalties low, there are few disincentives. But police commander Daoud Mohammed says that successfully convicting Ali could change this. Actually, if this case goes through and uh, he faces the full face of the law, it will be a deterrent to measures. Uh, it will be a plus to the police work. It will be a plus to the whole justice system of Kenya. With Ali's trial, Kenyan justice is also on the dock. A litmus test of Kenya's ability to apply rigorous justice to wildlife crime and end the era of impunity 